Mount Jimba is a mountain peak in Hachiyoji that is a close neighbor to Tokyo's famous day trip destination, Mount Takao. To get to the trailhead, get off at Takao Station and look for bus stop 1. You need to take bus number 32 bound for Jimba Kogenshita, which is also where you need to get off. There is only one bus every hour, so the line can get pretty long. After arriving at the final stop, look for the sign that says Mount Jimba, which would lead you to a concrete road, where you might see an abandoned washing machine somewhere along the river. Aside from washing machine hunting, be mindful of this sign that says entrance to Mount Jimba hiking course, because this is where the actual hike starts. The trail is nicely paved and easy to follow, although it can be rocky in some parts and wet on some others, making it slippery. So it will be helpful if you wear proper shoes. Unlike Montecao, which can get pretty crowded, Mount Jimba does not have a lot of people. So if you are looking for an escape away from the busy crowds, this mountain is a perfect destination. And might I add, this is one of the most beautiful trails I have ever taken. I also suggest going here during the sakura season as they have a lot of cherry blossom trees. We hiked in the middle of February and there was still some snow left on the mountain, which made me, a tropical girl, very very happy. The hike to the top takes about an hour and is pretty easy, which is perfect if you're planning for a family hike. And did I say the trail is beautiful? Oh, I did. Okay, but yeah, no, for real, this trail is very pretty. And we finally made it to the top. Once here, you will be greeted with this white concrete horse statue, which kind of looks a little like... You know what, never mind. There were a few shops at the summit and we chose this place with this view and ate our udon. It was just what we needed in this cold, late winter temperature. Going down the mountain, we traversed to Wada Pass. This route is the fastest going down, but also a bit steep, which means not a lot of people take this trail. There were some cut trees along the way, so be careful not to trip on them. And remember the thing I said about some parts being wet and slippery? Yeah, about that. This trail will take you to the Wada Village bus stop, which will then take you to Fujina Station, where you can take the train back home. And that's the end of this hiking trip. See you on the trails, everyone. <laughs>